Welcome to the She My Grande Life Show. Okay. We got our Pokemon Cup here. And then this Pokemon Cup. This is a uh, Diamond and Pearl Edition Pokemon Cup. But yeah. And we, I don't know if I can like dump it out without pouring it out. We got water in there. You can't really see it. It's like only like a quarter full. So let's get started. Uh, Here's your secret recipe. Sugar. Mommy, can I have some sugar? Can you be my sugar mama? Anyway, guys, sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. There we go. Sugar. Spice. No. <laughs> Spice. <gasps> oh. Oh, there's like a lot. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, this is gonna taste nasty. I didn't ever see it. And everything nice. <laughs> Oh god, that doesn't look good. It's fizzing. Should I, am I gonna die or something like that? I'm afraid to even taste this right now. Ugh. Well, I don't know if I love it or I hate it. <laughs> Ugh, okay. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so it's kind of like I just made my own root beer, guys. In a nasty way. It's a nasty flavored root beer that it looks. But, um, so basically I added one packet of sugar to a quarter cup of water. Then I added like a shitload of this by accident, but pure vanilla. And then I added my, uh, my clear and natural kiwi, no, not kiwi strawberry, wild cherries, sparkling water. It's not that bad. It tastes like some crazy looking, uh, not, it's nasty, but it's not nasty. If you know what I mean? Like it's like root beer, but it's not root beer. If you know what I mean? No. Okay. So basically, you know what else is very sweet? My package of sweetener that I just got. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Eh, eh, eh. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, guys. <laughs> oh my god, that's so beautiful. Like, just touching it makes me cry. Just touching it makes me cry. I didn't even have to do this. Now, before I get involved with this, well, look at this beautiful CD. Oh my God, yo. Marry me, Ariana Grande, marry me. Look at this, holy Jesus. The fact that it's upside down on the back is amazing. Only Ariana Grande comes up with this kind of stuff. So yeah, before I get into like, this open unboxing slash little review of the whole album. I'm gonna, yeah, that's right guys. I'm about to give you my input on the songs. I'm gonna spill that tea. Okay, guys. My mom is playing music in the background and my dog screaming like a crazy lunatic, so don't mind that back there, you know? But basically, I'm busy! <laughs> 
But anyway, guys, so we basically, yeah, we basically got um this right here. It's the Ariana Grande Sweetener album, for those that don't know Ariana Grande. And we got it sealed. Now, the story behind this, actually, is I had a big problem when I ordered this off the website. So this is a really big problem for me that I don't understand why it took so long. And I'm kind of upset like with the process because I had to send out a message for them to actually send it through. And then and I, in the end, I figured out this like crazy thing. But basically, I ordered a CD, you know, the Friday that it actually released like all over the world, like just the album in general, not even just the CD, just the album released on the day, you know. Like, I think it was like August 17th, I ordered, it was a Friday, I ordered the album. And then what winds up happening is, what am I, like, wait, I like wait a week. But it's like, it's like a five, it's like a five day business shipping or like five business days for shipping or whatever, you know, the usual. And it doesn't come in the mail. There's no, and in and, and the email, it tells you, like, literally, like, in the email, it will tell you that in a couple days, they'll let you know that it's been shipped out. But no, <laughs> there is no email. So what happens is, I send these people a message on the website complaining that I didn't even get my thing sent out. Because I'm like, what the hell's going on? It's been, like, a week, and I haven't even got it shipped out yet, let alone, like, coming to my house. And I'm paying this, like, shipping fee for... Like what? I don't understand. So basically, then another week passes, and I finally. It took two weeks, bro. It took two weeks or three weeks or something like that, and it was ridiculous. But I got the CD, and I couldn't even review it until now because it's been like a month later that I'm actually picking this up and reviewing it out of the package because I just been so busy with college and stressful stuff that being an adult is horrible. Just letting you know. Don't ever want to be an adult. Those kids out there that are watching this channel, please just wish you were a kid for the rest of your life. Get the genies in this place, you know? But, yeah, guys, so basically, three weeks for this CD, when I could have got it at FIE at the mall. Like, really? Okay. Uh, this is what I get for ordering on Ariana Grande's website. I don't know if, like, for a CD. Like, I don't know. But the only reason I ordered it off the website because I, I wanted the early tour dates. And I, I'm telling you, if I don't receive an email soon about these early tour dates if they're not in this like thing in here like when i open it up and it's on the side i'm gonna be suspicious of when i'm actually getting these tour dates so someone leave your comments down below uh when the heck i'm so if you guys got your early tour dates already in your cds or if you got an email to you or whatever happened please let me know in the comments down below because i want to know where i get these tour dates from that i paid for and waited three weeks for just to get this but basically yeah that's that the story is that the whole time that I thought it never got shipped out, they just never emailed me. It was shipped out the whole time. But even though that it got shipped out, like, I just don't understand what took three weeks to ship this crap out and deliver it to my house. Five business days, they said. Turns out to be, like, 20 business days in my book, but okay. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm literally happy I got it. It wasn't like I didn't need it. I was just excited to like do the review sooner than I wanted to. But the fact that it came so late, I couldn't even review it till like a month later. Uh, so here you go, sweetener. Anyway, guys, so we're gonna do this review for you. Um, basically, before I even open the CD, I'm gonna tell you the songs in the back. If I can even read them without these sunglasses on, I don't know. Now, the fact that I have to read them upside down, I don't even know how this works. Okay, so I'm very picky when it comes to Ariana Grande songs. Well, I love all her songs, but I love her. I was expecting a lot more R&B on this album, and I, we got it in a way, but we also didn't get it in a way. It was more like pop R&B, which is, I don't know if that's what I wanted or not, but I love the album. It's her best album ever. Eh. Maybe not. Like, my, my, like, thing changes all the time. People will disagree with me. You know, I, I, opinions are okay. I, I feel like people have been getting very hurt by me giving my opinion, and they think they don't have an opinion. That's not the case. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, make these videos and give you guys my opinion on things. Um, this album's amazing. Like, it's definitely way out of the ordinary for Ariana Grande. Like, this is way different than the last three albums not even close to like she just changed up her whole style of music like this is definitely an update for her more mature uh 
<clears throat> you know, more her, apparently. Like, she says that this is what she's been waiting to do all, for a long time. Um, this music was what she always wanted to do. Um, so basically, we got Raindrops uh, and Angel Cried, which is a beautiful, beautiful... <laughs> It's a beautiful intro. And then we got Blazed featuring Pharrell Williams. Now, this is a good song. It's a bop. It's a bop. I mean, it's not my favorite, but I like it. Um, and then we got The Light Is Coming, which a lot of people really think is a bad song. Like, when it first came out, the music video came out, and the song came out, people didn't like it too much, and they didn't get good feedback. But I think they're just kind of like... Not giving it time, if you know what I mean. I don't know if it's just me. Like, it's not what I expected either. But I really love it, and I think it's one of her best. Uh, and I can see why she released it as her third single, or her, her second single, or whatever it is. Um, and then, basically, we got R.E.M., my all-time favorite song on the album. You must be out of your mind if you don't love this song, bro. Uh, R.E.M., bro. Oh, that's the R&B I've been waiting for all, all this time like for her to release and i'm just glad she released it because it was beautiful um god is a woman i mean let's be honest who doesn't love that it's her first single off her new album uh sweetener oh not her first single what am i saying wait is it no no tears left to cry is her first single sorry guys my mind's not all there today because uh you know i was like uh uh basically yeah god is a woman is her I think, like, why her second single off the album, such a great song, such a great song. And it's definitely, like, a bop for a lot of people. Um, Sweetener, yo. Ariana Grande spilled the tea. She did. And then, basically, I don't know, I just love it, like, Sweetener. She talks, it's like the bop it, drop it. You know, like, what's that, like, thing we used to play with us kids? It was, like, twist it, bop it, stop it, or... It was, like, this machine, and you, like, press all these buttons, and it makes it bop it, drop it, or, you know, like... It's, like, all these things that you would press, and you have to, like, race and press the right buttons, or else you lose. It's, like, this big twisting machine thing. It's it's hard to explain unless you uh, see it. Um, I, I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, so, basically, we also have um, successful... Which I think is actually a pretty catchy and a really interesting song. Uh, you guys definitely need to check that one out. I'm so successful. <laughs> My voice just cracked when I did it. Um, Every Time, which is a beautiful song. I like that a, a little bit. You know, I mean, her pop songs are okay. I just not... I like more R&B by her. So, I definitely love Every Time. But Breathing, now that's a, the a pop song I'm in love with on this album. I love that song. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. And then what do we else we got? No Tears Up to Cry. We all love that song. You know, that's a that's a bop. That was the first one off our album. That you got gotta love that. It's just official. Uh Better Off. Uh I don't remember that one because I haven't really listened to it a lot, but Yeah. Good night and go. That was a good song. Uh P. Davidson. Actually, believe it or not, like I know, like, I, I don't like that they're together, but that song was really dope, and I love it. It's a really great song. Pete Davidson, I thought that was going to be kind of like a crazy song, but she made it good. Get Well Soon is a good song, too. But like I said, my favorites on this album out of all of them, like, I'm just going to name my favorites. I don't know if they're in any order, but of course, like, R.E.M. is the first one on my list. So we got R.E.M., The Light is Coming... God is a Woman, Sweetener. Sweetener is like number two on my favorites list. Uh, R.E.M. is the first. And then Breathing, No Tears Left to Cry. Oh, Borderline featuring Miss Elliot was like another song. I think I skipped over that one. Borderline featuring Miss Elliot. Now that's a cool song too. That's way different too. She just went 90s R&B on us in that one, which is great. So if you guys want to go back to the 90s, go check this album. But yeah. But those are the songs I like a lot. I like more like the main, the more popular songs than I do like her underrated songs. Um, but yeah, so basically let's start opening this bad boy. 
Okay, so we're gonna open this up right now. Uh, I don't even know where the hell to even start. There's like nothing to grip on. Kind of makes you just want to like. Oh my god. This is the time when you need nails. I got it. I got it. Somewhere. Oh my god. Wow. This is not happening today. Literally, like if I want. Oh, wait, wait. Oh uh, no. What the heck? Come on. That's all, folks. Okay, guys. So basically, I finally opened it after 15 minutes of trying to grip on it. Uh, the, it seems like they didn't want me to even open up my own CD. Because that took, like, literally forever to even try to open it up right now. So now we got it open. So this is what the back looks like. Looks like, as you can see, the, the picture's upside down, but the songs are up straight. So if you can look closely, you can read the songs off here. And then we got the front. I peeled off the sticker out the plastic and put it on here because that's what I always do. I like to keep the stickers from the packaging. So that's the front explicit. So <laughs> basically let your kids know. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Ooh, wait. Am I seeing something wrong? I don't know. If I think this is upside down, actually. I don't know. This is weird. Actually, this is how it's supposed to look. Which, but it's weird because the the letters are actually upside down. I think that's pretty cool. I did not know that at all. So apparently, I had the front upside down all this time. Now I have to take the sticker off and fix that. But uh, that's pretty crazy. So of course, we still got this tape. We got to take off up here, like usual. It's like the, I'm never gonna get to the inside. It's like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie roll? I mean, tootsie pop. Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm disappointed. There's no uh, tour dates in here. That sucks. But yeah, guys, so basically this is what the inside looks like. She's on the stairs over here, as you can see. Uh... I actually can't really see it, but this is a very colorful CD. Kind of faded colorful, but you can see the colors. Like, it's like clouds and stuff, uh, which screams cotton candy, which screams sweetener. Uh, what else we got? I'm trying to get this book out so I can actually see it right here. Okay. So here's the book. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, my God. Wow. So basically it shows you every song and who created it, what, who worked on it with Ariana Grande. And there's lots of artwork. That's amazing. And it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. This is very, she went for a very like old school God is a woman thing right here. Look at this. So this is what it kind of looks like. It shows the who worked on a song. It has like pictures. So lots of artworks in this uh, little booklet right here. As you can see, that's like some of the artwork from the music video for God is a Woman. Uh, and then we got like other stuff here. We got um, more stuff here. Another picture. And then this one's my favorite picture. Look at this. I'd so get that on a t-shirt. That's crazy. So yeah, guys, kind of disappointed though. Because I did not get no tour dates. I hope I get that email because what's the point in me ordering offline when I could have ordered at FYE without the tour dates? So I just hope that they really come through with that. Or else it's kind of just crazy, you know? Uh, but I just, gotta, I gotta, just gotta wait and see. And I hope you guys enjoy this little unboxing review and, um, you know, a funny skit going on. And actually, not gonna lie though, this tastes like fake root beer, like really gross root beer, but root beer. Ugh. I don't know. Uh, it's, it tastes good, but not good. I don't know. Bye guys.